How exactly do I use my phone when I'm uh, legally blind? Well, you will soon see, but the pun sort of intended. So a few videos ago, I ended up posting a video talking about how I make my short films and videos while legally blind, so I showed you guys what I do with my camera, with my laptop, but I thought today I would show you guys more how I use my cell phone, my iPad, just my regular devices for everyday use. As a person who isn't fully sighted, I can't really use my phone like, well, sighted people can. That means I have to do a bunch of little tweaks here and there just to help me see better. So the first thing that I do is I tweak the size of the font because the font size that comes with the phone is rather small, so I have to just go to accessibility and the general settings, move that slider up a couple notches just to help me see better, and we're good to go. It tweaks the font size in the Apple default apps like Notes and Messages. If there's an app like Twitter where you can change the font size, I take advantage of that. I also like to change the font to bold because trust me, when I'm texting, you guys who have Apple devices know that in the top, you know, in the top of the screen, the messages get a little harder to read, so I have to make the font bold, and still I have some trouble seeing that. Another thing I like to use is the zoom tool that is also in the accessibility menu and what zoom does is basically it lets you well, zoom into either the whole screen or just part of the screen so when I go to a website or app and I can't pinch to zoom I just double tap on the zoom and it brings this window up where I can just drag and read now it is a little inconvenient because I do have to you know just do a lot of dragging and moving around and stuff like that but hey as long as I can see it it's just fine to me and zoom really does help me out when I'm browsing online if I happen to go to a website and I can't pinch to zoom yes there's some websites especially mobile sites where you can't pinch to zoom I have to use the zoom tool even though I can use the zoom option to zoom in on pages and stuff like that I usually choose the reader and the main reason is because well a lot of websites have like white interface a white background and that kind of strains my eyes quite a bit so what I do is I tap on this little icon here next to the URL and it turns on the reader I have it set to night mode already to dark mode but still I mean I prefer night mode because that is a lot easier on my eyes and if you see the Twitter app on my phone that actually has night mode turned on as well or dark mode whatever it's called I think well it's one of those two night mode dark mode I really wish YouTube mobile had that I really wish Facebook had that I really wish just maybe even Instagram iOS and Mac OS just I wish everything had a dark mode oh by the way real quick that was my friend Alice Red's blog if you want to go check that out I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and also the other site was Beth Boulevard another friend of mine her merch store so I'm gonna leave a link below as well so if you want to check either of those two out check them out another thing I use is the Kindle which I use on my iPad I don't have it on my phone because with that large font it's just gonna be a lot of page turning so with this I have it in dark mode as well, I have large font on there as well, and the only annoying thing is that when you have a font size ready to go on one book, it might be bigger or smaller in another one, so you kind of have to tweak it back and forth when you go from book to book, but that's just, it's a minor complaint. And here you can change it from a white background to a kind of tan background, and then dark mode, which is my preferred choice. Now I just don't use features on my phone to look at stuff better on my phone or my tablet, I use stuff to see things better in the real world like the camera app which is kind of weird to think about so let me give you an example here i drop something and well i can't find it i'm looking around and if i can't find it i grab my phone i turn on the camera and i'm still looking around maybe a few seconds later i'll find it and that's because the camera optics are working better than my eyes they take in more light and it just makes things easier for me to see also if i'm walking in a dimly lit area i just you know, walk with my phone with the camera turned on so I can see better. The tool that I use the most though is the magnifier. Now you may think zoom and magnifier are the exact same things. They're actually very different from each other. What magnifier does is it uses the camera, the built-in camera as a magnifying glass. So all I have to do is just triple tap on the home key, the home button, and it'll give me some zoom controls so I can zoom in and out as much as I can. This is really handy when I go to the grocery store because when I'm at the grocery store, I'm looking at prices, I'm looking at nutrition facts, stuff like that. I have to use this because otherwise I, you know, unless I want to put my face like two, three inches away from something, then I can't really see it. This also works in handy in restaurants, not just to look at menus up on the wall, but also just menus in general because a lot of uh, you know a lot of the writing is really really tiny and the last thing I like to use which I've recently used is voiceover to buddy Instagram Facebook 
One new item. Now, I don't really use this often, I actually just started using this, and it's more for when I'm having eye strain, when I really can't look at my screen. It's still kind of a new thing to me. People who have worse vision than me use this all the time, and the way that the voiceover text, I don't know how they can do this, but it's like the, the voiceover just reads everything back so fast, and I'm just like, dude, how do you, how do you even understand any of that? Screen curtain on. One Alcazar. Ever woken up thinking it's another day of the week then realize it's X day instead. Nine hours ago. Actions available. Screen curtain off. It's a learning curve for me, but I really want to use my phone with voiceover just... You know, like I said, if I do get major eye strain, I want to be able to still use my phone without having to, well, look at it. So those are some of the ways I use my cell phone and tablet to see things better, not just on my phone, but in the real world. So did any of this surprise you or did it just like, you know, did you guys already know? I mean, it, like I said, I'm just so used to this stuff. I'm not really surprised by it, but... A lot of you guys were surprised when I showed you what I do to make films and videos and I'm just like, maybe they'll learn a thing or two by seeing this. So if you happen to be visually impaired yourself, what do you use? Maybe you guys can give me some sort of tips, maybe something I showed you can help you out as well and you're sighted? I don't know, but let me know. Anyway, I'll see you guys next video, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, see you later.